Ads are here. Pausing for ads. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another stream. Hello, Saren Cat. Hello, Gaguts. Welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? Feeling lonely or sad and worthless? Order your own dumb dumb now and say goodbye to your depression. If the effects keep appearing, please consult medical experts. This product may, ca may cause allergies. What kind of allergies? Allergies could be deadly. That, that, that sounds bad still. We don't want to, you know... All of a sudden, I get a deadly allergy. I mean, like, being allergic to peanuts sucks. Like, I know someone that's allergic. Well, I knew someone that was allergic to peanuts. For I don't know if he's alive or not, because I haven't talked to him since the college. <laughs> Pretty much, or a bit after college. He had to, like, go everywhere with an EpiPen. Couldn't have, like, so many things have peanuts in them. It's like, ah, oh, it's the worst. I don't know if uh, me causing allergies is uh, <clears throat> good. <laughs> if it creates depression, I mean, I don't know what's worse. It depends, I think. But how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Uh, I've been busy today. I woke up really early. I don't know why, but I woke up early. And then I was like, you know... I really should fix up that the card system and make it modular. And so I started doing that and I made some progress. <laughs> By some progress, I mean a lot of progress. Like I probably spent more than a stream's time working on it today already. <laughs> but but now I can show you some stuff. <laughs> so um, it's now modular. Uh, if I come here, right, and I give myself a level, um, uh, well, first of all, I changed it, so, um, it's now highlights just the, uh, the thing, just the border. It doesn't actually change this. So, I feel like that's a little bit better. Um, also, if I click, right, it makes it green. So, I mean, colors can be adjusted. But the main thing I want to do show, and this is actually something I actually did before, but I forgot to show it yesterday, is this, right? You have the blade attack. But if it was to hit a wall, it doesn't go as far. It won't go through walls anymore. And that's per blade. So if you have a multi-attack, so if I have also, here's something. See his health up? 
See how it says 100 health right there? And it says 100 right there. If I grab it, it automatically updates. Uh, it's hard to tell right now if I kill this guy. Uh, let's do... Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh... Okay, so here, so here's my crit chance is at zero. If I select this, look at that. Immediately updates. Look at my HP, 125. I select it, immediately 150. And here, 150. It's now updating dynamically. And as soon as I click it and it stops being selected, it's now, you know, goes to the highlighted look. It's no longer the clicked on look, even though I'm holding the button still. I'm still holding the button, but it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. And then right in here, all my stuff is in here as, as normal. Um, all my stats is updating. But yeah, this is... Uh, uh, so, right, I can go, um, let me see, greater multi, I just want to show the, uh, doesn't matter, uh, doesn't matter, where's, uh, airblade, so I want to show this, right, so you see, so if I have multiple blades, They'll just stop at the wall and only the ones that would hit the wall would stop at the wall. The ones that wouldn't stop at the wall, don't stop at the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the dev tool for choosing specific power-ups? That's what I was going to make today. Bro, uh, well, today, I mean like now during the stream. Yeah. <laughs> also, I need to double, just double check that uh, my invulnerability is working properly. So let me just, where's my vulnerability? Uh, and I'll show you guys what, what I did, like how I changed everything up. I'm bring vulnerability. Okay, so I do have it. Okay, it is working. And I'm not taking damage. Okay. <clears throat> After 60 seconds, this should uh, reset. Give to me back. I don't know. It's been a six seconds yet. Probably not. Well, I guess it, the the top one ticks down every sixty uh, once every second. So the fact that it's not even been fifty seconds tells me that it's not been sixty seconds. Obviously. So. Another 10 seconds should reappear. Take. Give or take. Yeah, there it is. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so this is working. So, yeah, I changed up my entire system. So, you know how on the abilities I was creating actor components for everything? Uh, they're all gone. No more actor components at all. Not at all. Not one. Got rid of all of them. Because the only thing we were doing with 99% with of actor components was adding a gameplay tag. And then there were two, just two, that had custom stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the actor components. So now it's just activate a, a passive is just add my ability tag and then for the two that require something unique in my actor abilities actor component i have the health up and the gain temporary vulnerability abilities that's in there my man's doing the famous so i did some stuff on screen farm now i have everything yeah pretty much pretty much uh yeah, so, right, because these are the only two non-standard uh, gameplay tag ones. Uh, so I changed that. Um, let's go down the list of stuff that I did. If I go down to U UI, uh, I renamed this. This is now level, uh, level up. 
So, <clears throat> you might notice... Uh, this looks a little different, but we'll get to that. Main thing is the graph here, this is it. That's, that's the entire graph. Remember how I had like 20 different things on the button press and the non-button press and the... Yeah, it's now simplified. So... Yeah, I just get every single car. I could have done this manually, but I just decided to do this. Um, I got, I get all my uh, buttons underneath here. If I add more, I could, it'll just automatically grab them. And I have a uh, bind event that uh, stores the selected card. And the story of the selecting card is just getting my collection <clears throat> and then passing that tag along and storing the, based on the, the type it is. And then it is updating the display stats, which is why it automatically updates. And it does this <clears throat> after each selection now. It no longer does it at the end. Like, and this exit out is only checking to see if it should exit. If not, it generates new options. And the generate new options one, right, is still doing the same stuff. Um, <clears throat> but now when I do the set card info, yeah, I'm just doing the, like, setting the information as before. I'm going to hide unconnected pins there. That that hasn't changed. But the main thing is <clears throat> the card has changed. Right, so... This is the card. It's modular. So I have the icon, and that's the thing that we were piping in. It's not just a square square picture. Right, we have just the background image, the outline, and the outline is what I tint, of course. The title, which we can change, the description, right, all text, and the button goes on top of it. And the button just has an, 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 uh, a transparent material on it. So that way, it just appears transparent. And I mean, like, this is the, this is the material. Very complex material, I know. <clears throat> I can't believe I made it either. Um, I'm glad I spent, you know, years learning Unreal materials uh, for this specific uh, situation where I was able to uh, accomplish this. Um, I could probably uh, do this. Uh, oh, no, th then it's pure black. Okay, so it is white one by default. Okay, I can. We'll keep it. <laughs> so it's not fully modular but that also means right now the title in all of this is now here so now I, I can put in the title in the uh, data table the description also goes in here and the, I just put in the gameplay tag that I want to assign to it so instead of the actor component it's a gameplay tag and it gets populated so it's a little bit better than before Hey, Jimberly, welcome in. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. So yeah, uh, I did some stuff off screen. <laughs> and there and there's the and the collection, there's a collection version of it that it that this doesn't have like anything on the graph pretty much except the setting of the of the stats. It doesn't have any of the buttons or anything. Oh yeah, and the card. So, the actual cars that I have, right? I have the reset border and hover here. Like I migrated all the stuff from our from this HUD, basically to the car to itself. And uh, yes, they still the hover event, um, and I, I'm just using uh, dispatchers to be able to call the stuff. Um, I probably don't even need this dispatcher. Do I even use this? I mean, I could probably get rid of it. I don't think I even use it. The only dispatcher I use is button selected. Pretty sure I just get rid of uh, YouTube. Uh, button pressed, button released. Just can't get rid of that. <laughs> How long did it take? Uh, 
I think I spent, spent like a good three, four hours on this day. Spent like a few hours in the morning, lunchtime. Yeah. Some of that. It was, it was much needed to be done. I could just focus on it <clears throat> and get it done. So, yeah, so now, right, if I do, here's my knockback up. Um, right, and it'll automatically update. Obviously, I only have one selection here, so if I had more, it would. Right, oh, everything still works the same. Uh, but, like, for example, here's, right, Sun Chance 0. I select this, Sun Chance 15. Automatically updates. And here it is, Sun Chance. So, yeah, health 100. I select it 125, 125 in here. So it's all working. Um, <clears throat> all nicely modular, and uh, yeah, m much better now. Because especially this, where I can click. The one thing right now, I'm still holding left click, and so. It's for some reason not detecting that it's hovering over these when I'm holding left click still. That's not a big deal. That's like a very minor thing. Because I'll have to let go anyway to press it. It's not like I can press this and then just you know, go away. If I click this and move. I think it still selects it. Hold on. 75. Yeah. If I click it and just hold left click, I don't have to click left click and hold while on it. And maybe I should do that. Make it so I have to be hovered over it while pressing it. Let me change that real quick. Uh, button held down and... Um, is hovered to be true. Okay, so now it should uh, be kind of uh, a little bit better. So if I did a uh, multi-shot and let go, right, it hasn't... I'm still holding the button, but I need to be, like, over the button for five seconds. I can keep holding it. So I click and let go, and now I'm here. I'm still holding the button down. And if I come here and then wait five seconds, then it'll do the same thing. Um, yep. So... I think that's good. Modularity, all good, all great. So let's um, let's set up the um, the recommendation where I just create just a UI for myself, where basically I can pop a menu open that gives me every single card I have access to, and then I just select whichever card I want for uh, debugging. So very much needed. Um, so let's do a your blueprint. Um, sorry, this one from scratch. And this one is going to be um, uh, the card uh, debug or um, uh, card. Um, Selector. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's card selector. Okay, canvas panel. Uh, we'll throw an image on it. And this is just going to be so... I just have something in the background here. That's like nice and dark. And then <clears throat> we want to get a... Grid. Anchor it to the full thing. And now here, 
What we need to do is uh, get um, gear mode. Uh, cast to uh, GM is spreading. This is going to happen on construct. Yeah. Game mode reference. And <clears throat> what we need to do, right, is use this to uh, get. Uh, A column. Collect the cards. Get a uh, collect the cards for each loop. Oh, and I also need to get this grid panel. Variable. So before I do this, I guess uh, I want to clear out actually my grid panel. Clear your children. And, um, So for each one, we're going to add a child to grid. Now, where are we going to do this? So we need to keep putting them into a new section. I don't know how many will fit. So I'm just going to say make a variable for column. zero start and just every single time just in I think these are pretty big just increment the column and what we're gonna be adding here oh uh oops create widget and the thing we're going to be putting in is our uh, card. That's what we're going to be adding. Uh, but we also need to uh, uh, set what's it called? Set card info. Set card info. And this goes in here. Also, this should not say image. So let's just say card info. So I'll set the card info and then I'll add it to the grid. So that all looks good. Now, <clears throat> to make my life easier here, we can either do it, uh, we need to set the game to pause and all that. Uh, let's do it here. Set uh, game paused. True. Uh, get uh, player controller. Set input mode UI only. Uh, would you to focus? We just do self. Yep. And we need to make sure this is focusable. No. Um. And then. Set mouse of uh, visibility. Uh, 
Is it not? It's not a mouse visibility. Um. Set show mouse cursor. That's the one. I always forget what it's called. Here we go. Hey, Rain. Welcome in. You're back for the second time. Well, welcome for the second time. <laughs> How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Okay, so that should do everything I need. And now we also need a... Just in case we need a on exit. So I'm going to do a. I'm going to copy this, this, and this. I'm going to override uh, a mouse, a mouse on key down. If this is equal to. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, okay, context sensitive. What, what is the... What's the way to do this home? I forget. Uh, 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 let me go to the other menus here. Escape menu. Oh, get key first. That's the one. I first said get key. That's ah, whatever. Just kidding. Even though it says in key event, it's not actually a key. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gone. <laughs> You're sick? Well, I hope you feel better soon. Drink lots of tea. My go-to method of getting uh over any kind of cold is to drink uh tea every hour like like literally every hour set an alarm does it take you 20 minutes to drink tea doesn't matter you have 40 minutes before your next cup of tea takes you 50 minutes to drink that tea 10 minutes before your next one and um uh, basically at the end i'm usually like well in a day or two now, still, like, if, like, that, that's, like, my go-to. If it's really bad, of course, that's not going to do enough. But if it's, like, you're getting sick or, like, it, it'll really help. At least for me. I, you know, I'm no medical expert. I can always just speak for what helps me. <laughs> Gonna fall asleep yesterday? Oof. Well, I'm glad you've been doing well otherwise. At least that's good. So we're gonna set the game unpaused. Turn off show mouse cursor. Uh, set input mode game only. You don't trust in my drinks? You never know what you've been drinking. Well, don't worry. When I'm sick, I drink tea. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't drink. I wouldn't trust whatever I'm drinking. That's for sure. Yeah, liquid nitrogen. I feel like something cold today. Yesterday we went with lava and, you know, it kind of burned me a little. So I think today just going from the colder a little better. Okay, I'm going to just take this event construct and maybe just a sequence now so I can just separate this stuff out. Ads are here. Oh, pausing for ads. 
That's time. Uh, yeah. I'll just reorder this while the ads are going. Uh, we're also going to need to bind on event here, which I will do after after the ads. Time to get my ads out and drink. Yep. What happened to the sun? <laughs> it's back, unfortunately. It's freaking back. I hate it. I hate the sun. Specifically around this time, I hate the sun. Like if I just go down, I mean, if you, you can see, if I just go down like there, you can see like it's, it's literally there. It's terrible. Like it'll go down like in like 30 minutes or now. Have you thought I, that's the problem? The curtains are down. The curtains are just that shit. <laughs> They're shit. <laughs> They're that thin. I have, um, I put up, um, a, um, you kind of see it, uh, a cut out of it, I think, right there. Um, I basically put, uh, I bought the, like, um, like full light blocker, uh, like fabric. And I just put that on, but it's not, it's not long enough. I need to get a bigger piece. So it just reaches an extra foot down or so. <sighs> yeah. Well. Freaking curtains don't do shit. They're terrible. And I'm in an apartment complex with built-in uh built-in uh blinds. Or drapes rather. So it's not like you can even like replace them with better ones. So it just sucks. <sighs> okay. Back to this. Uh, uh, I need to buy an event on button selected. Uh, uh, custom event. Uh, button selected, and then I can go to here. Up you. Uh. Ah, I don't need to do the. Uh, I need to do exit out. Uh. I don't need to exit out. What I do need is... No, I don't need you. I don't need to add it to... Oh, I do need to add it to my collection. No, I don't. I just need to do this. I feel like I'm missing something. I have a feeling I'm missing something. Um, promote this to a variable. It's edible, expose on spawn. So this will work here. Uh, and I also need to... 
Oh, I also need to add it to the collected. Uh, I have the game mode, right? Where's the game mode? Yeah, game mode ref. Uh, get uh, game mode ref. Uh, and I need to store it. Right? Collected cards. Uh, get collected cards. Add probably this is probably not gonna work. Start wearing glasses to stream? No, I don't own glasses. I mean, don't go own sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah, I don't own sunglasses. I'm also not cool. I don't wear sunglasses indoors. Hello, it's Illusion. Welcome in. How's it going? How's it going? I will say, I don't know why, but like half an hour before the stream, like start getting a headache and I don't like it. I don't like it. So now, whenever I populate this, this should work. Um, I mean, let's try it. Uh, create widget. Um, Is the card selector self add to uh, let's find out if it works? Do you aid the thing I was missing? Oh no. Get a headache the most. Yeah, headaches are awful. You're sweating profusely right now? Oh no. Air conditioning? Uh. Oh. First of all, uh. I did stupid. Uh. Let's not have this be on escape because I can't press escape while I'm testing this. So I'll just have this be like tab. Okay. Second of all. Oh, let's actually let's no tab opens up the other one. Hold on. Uh, I'll have it be the same button. Oh, what? This the oh, d am I? Oh, I'm stupid. I'm not doing remove from viewport. Remove from viewport or from parent. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of important. Now nah, I'm using backspace. That's why I'm using to like, I get it. And now I can click. There we go. So that works. Why is it not generating all the cards? Let's find out. I probably grabbed the wrong thing. So this gets, oh, this is getting collecting cards. That, that was my mistake. It's not supposed to get collected cards. Uh, it's supposed to get, um, uh, available abilities. This might not work the way I want. Okay. Um, so something's good, something's not. Starting the fact that I need a scroll bar and I didn't put that one in. So let's do that. Uh, 
wrap with a uh, scroll box. And we want a horizontal one. I'm just gonna search horizontal. Okay, where do I set it to horizontal? Bar <sighs> style horizontal. Scroll. There it is. Horizontal. Hey, hello, Grab. Welcome in. What am I up to today? I'm setting up my secret menu. <laughs> my secret menu of all the abilities. <laughs> so if I select this and then press escape. Oh, not escape. I'm stupid. If I press this and then press and then close it, I have more health. So I did get it. Okay. So I can go here and be like, give me this uh, twice, three times and give me critical chance. And then I'm good. And then I can go and check here. There's three more healths and critical chance. Awesome. That works. Um, the one thing I would like to do is, can I scale the stuff inside of them? I don't think I can. Like, you can't specify I want them to be a certain size. I just would like to make them a little smaller. To just have too tall, you know? Mm. If I do it here, and then I... Can I wrap all of this with a size box? Or can I only put one? No, I can only put one thing in a size box. So can I wrap it all with a what? Okay, I wrap overlay. I put everything in an overlay. I can't. Yeah, that doesn't quite work the way I want it to. Uh, was the best stuff at Apple? An edible one? A non-poisonous apple? <laughs> A real apple? Uh, well, I'm moving you guys to the other monitor. <laughs> All the sun goes down. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll stick with uh, with them being full size. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It works though. You know, I, I we have the uh, ability now to come here and just pick up any power up that we want. Uh, so, like, if I want crit chance up, knockback up, HP up. And now here we have knockback, crit chance, and health. And just confirm. Yep, knockback. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that was easy. So shall we uh, proceed with adding more abilities then? I think we proceed with adding more abilities now. 
Uh, close out of you. Uh, close out of you. Uh, I can reset. Uh, no, I won't reset you. You're, you're good for testing. Close you. Uh, don't need you right now. Okay. Let's. this oh i just didn't paint there's a button for it <laughs> so um uh, we got things to do so we can do um oh yeah this one needed an effect i need to uh remove the highlight off that one uh That one needs an effect. Uh, so we're not doing this one. Right now. But, uh, the next one that we can do is Resurrection. Right? Resurrect with temporary invulnerability and partial health. I think we can go with that one. You know? A good, a good old-fashioned revive. Um... Well, no, it won't be a resurrection. It'll be like a last chance, or, or, or where if you were to take uh, lethal damage, then instead you become invulnerable, and uh, your HP, you know, like you get fifty percent of your HP back, or you know, twenty five percent of your HP back, or at it sets it at twenty five percent, or sets it at fifty, whatever. Yeah, let's do that. You guys gonna sleep now? Well, yeah, get some sleep, get some rest. Sleepy time, best time. Might be back later for this one. No, let put some effort, make sure it works. You know. Do your best. Sleep, sleeping is, is very good when you're not feeling well. It's very important, so do your best. <laughs> good night. <laughs> so we're going to make last stand here. This is going to be last stand. Uh, uh, the description is going to be... Um, I just realized these don't have spaces. It doesn't matter. So, basically, if you were to take a uh, lethal damage, instead gain five seconds of invulnerability. This is going to be. This is way too long. And set health to. 25%. No, just if you were to. No, yeah, it has to be if you take lethal damage because it can say if you were to die, for example, because. You could die by falling into like one of the like like falling out of the map, like falling to one of the holes, right? And you don't take damage, you just die. And this won't overwrite it. It's if you were to take dam lethal damage. Um uh, We'll see how 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 this fits. Maybe it'll fit. Who knows? Um Let's add a new, um, new tag. 
character dot player uh, dot ability fast stand. There we go. This is passive, and you know, let's make it right now. So much easier with this, actually. Look at this beautiful uh, picture. <laughs> That's it. This is all it is. <laughs> uh, oh, life seal is also LS. That's fine. Last. Explorer. Oh, no, not show and explore. Wrong one. Open source location. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Last end. Damn. Go. Yeah, there. Look at that. See how fast it is now? All this. When you reach one health and become invincible for X seconds. Well, it's not one health, right? It's not when you reach one health. Because you, what if you're at zero health? You're not at one health. So it have to then be less than one health. But then when I say if you take lethal damage, right? If you're at zero health, um, right? <clears throat> Is that if you were to, if you, uh, if you just take lethal damage, instead gain five, Seconds of vulnerability instead uh, health to 25%. Uh, yeah. And I don't want to say 30, like a flat number. Uh, actually, that's better. And uh, yeah, let's not do a percentage. Let's do a set number because then no, a percentage is better. Percentage is better. Because it motivates you, like, if you gain a lot of HP stuff and pick this up, right, it's a better synergy. So we'll do a percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Okay. So the sun has moved down. I can move you guys back. <laughs> I can move you guys back. Much better. Goodbye, son. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. We will see how it fits. The main thing is if it fits. Um, okay. So, last stand. Um, what I need to go is go to abilities. And we'll make a last stand check. Uh, so I need to get input, uh, character reference. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I really should rename this. It's called, by the way, it's called action, ca action character because when I was getting started, I was following a tutorial on paper CD and stuff. And that was the name that the tutorial called it. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to call it the same thing just for consistency's sake. It is not an action character. I don't know why it's called an action character. I really should rename it. It should just be like parent character or something. Or base character. Or character base. You know, something like that. That's really what it should be. Um, so we're going to check if it has a uh, last end.
And we also need a return here. And it is going to return false. If it doesn't have it, I mean, cool. we don't do anything. Um, if it's true, we can... Uh, Uh, so we need to get a uh, uh, character ref. Calling it something different because I already have a variable called character ref. Just to make sure I'm getting the right one. Um, so I do it here and then get a component by class and we need to get the character stats one. Get uh, max health. Get, um, get current, uh, I get health percentage. Now, hold on, hold on. We need to do this differently. If I come here, this needs to be done before all of this, right? If this is true, no, no, it's, it's, uh, no, it has to, it'll happen here. Right before death, we will check it. Yep. And the only time this will, right before death, we will check it. What do you find most difficult and unreal to do? Fine information. Fine obscure information. <laughs> That's what's the hardest thing to do. If you want something very obscure and there's not a YouTube video on it, you're just shit out of luck. Basically, good luck trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's the main. That's the hardest thing. You either have access to the material to do it because it's a common thing everyone does. Or if you're doing something really obscure, there's just, there's nothing, there's no documentation again, right? If I want documentation, we've, I've gone over this on like, on a, on a, uh, a thing like has tag, right? If I just search UE5 has tag or actor has tag, Right? This is my documentation. There's no documentation. This is just the same information I get directly in here. So yeah, if if basically if I don't know it and I don't know how to use it, I either need to try it or whatnot. Oh yeah, like I don't know Niagara at all. Like I've been learning Niagara, like uh, the um, the blade attack. All right, I follow a tutorial, but then I. Uh, managed to figure out how to um, stop it at the wall myself. So once I get better at that, like, I don't know if that's hard, it's just me not knowing right now. And yeah, and that's again, right? Well, there's tutorials for like fireballs on YouTube. That's the good thing. But if you want to do a very specific effect, you got to know how to do that effect. There's no like documentation on every node and stuff like that. Niagara is a particle system. Yep. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm putting it here. So once it gets here, right, we check, does it have this tag? Ads are here. Oh. Pausing for ads. Let's give it a moment.
In the meantime, and do I not have a get health? I've set. I'm gonna have this private. And we'll, we'll continue what after the ads are done. It's different from the normal map. I mean, Niagara is basically the normal one now. If you're talking about like Cascade particle system, like I'm pretty sure like no one uses that anymore. I don't know if it's like fully supported or if they're doing anything with it. I thought they're going like it's full Niagara these days. I mean, like it is Niagara one looks better and seems like a lot better in like user, like in the user department. So I don't know if they're doing anything with like, like the old cascade system. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Saw some crazy realistic car on fire. The smoke was out of the world. Cause I'm not there. Probably. Yeah, most, uh, well, that depends. Like, it could be that, or it could be the new volumetric uh, system. And the, the, it could be VDBs. Like, which is a new thing, which is just, it's not a particle system, but that's uh, just an entirely different system. Um, okay, so if I check this, if I have a uh, last gen check, right? If this is well, okay, hold on. Obviously, I'll be I'll have no health. Obviously, I'll have no health. So I don't even need to do this. I don't need to check if I have no health because obviously I have no health. Which also means I can put this back to private. Um, so obviously I have no health. So then here I just need to um. Uh, uh, Modify health. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do a percentage. So get max health. Uh, and we're going to multiply it by 25. And use that for our health. Easy peasy. Uh, but then we need invulnerability. So what I can go is here. Uh, I have this temporary invulnerability. And what I want to do is in temporary invulnerability, I'm going to do all of this. Uh, set the template. And after five seconds, I'm going to delete it and destroy it. I'm going to do all of this minus the restarting it. Copy it. Swap out the character reference here. good can't say if it is uh, if it was but agar is freaking awesome if you don't know use yeah it is it absolutely is and uh i have a 
um a udemy course i actually got uh, a while back for niagara that i've been uh starting to watch a bit i think i'm like very little into it but like just the basic stuff i'm starting to like learn it because i want to do right i want to do a bunch of effects so i'm gonna have to learn it simple as that um Oh. oh, I can't do delays here. Um... I can do a custom event here. Um, remove a uh, temp invulnerability. Uh, I want a different reference in here. And I'm going to need a reference to, yeah, I'm going to. So place three there, and then component I type in. And then the target for removal tag, I'll also pipe in. The tag to remove is the same. Remove temporary invulnerability. And yep, this is the component. This is the target. Uh, excuse me. Why does this say target? Refresh. Did I rename it? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's compile. It's gonna error. Refresh. Uh, why is this complaining? Oh, because this needs the uh, article system. Wait, why is this complaining? All it has that. Oh. Yep. You bought a Udemy course a few months ago, something like realistic environment tutorial using Unreal, Maya, ZBrush, and more. Start of the course was Unreal 4. <laughs> I mean, it'll still teach you like good stuff, right? It's not like it's a waste. Like, because like Unreal, uh, yeah, it's still 4. Most of the stuff will translate. Like the way you need to think about it, the way you need to build. Maya hasn't changed almost at all. ZBrush hasn't either. Right? Like, all of those things... Yeah, yeah, sure. It's Unreal 5 versus 4, but... What worked in 4 will work in 5. Just the nodes might be in slightly different locations. Or might be called a little different. That's all. So I wouldn't worry about that, like, that much. Also, I don't know. Maybe you to me has a refund policy. I don't know. I never looked into that. If it's, like, real bad. So, this should work. Uh, this should work. So, if I come to here, and then I do a last stand check. To move all this over. Uh, and then this is self. <laughs> yeah, 
they're pretty cheap. Yeah, like Udemy has like like 80, 90% off sales like all the time for things. I don't I've not bought a single thing on Udemy for full price. Like I don't think anyone should <laughs> because their sales are insane. <laughs> Now, to be fair, I've never looked for something on you to meet like the moment it comes out. I just happen to like look for stuff and then I see that they're on sale for 80 or 90 percent off. I'm like, oh, yeah, for 10 bucks. Sure. Seems like a good deal to me. <laughs> you know, and then I get a few. <laughs> That's basically how it is. That's how I got the Houdini one. And I was like, OK, I was like 10 bucks or something like. Put in the wish list and just I, I don't even do that. I'm like just occasionally I, I go on Udemy if I like if I need if I need something specific or I'm trying to learn something, I'm like, what does Udemy have? And then I just see it and then like, oh, oh that's cool and it's on sale now. Sure. Let's pick it up. Because <laughs> I think it's it's things are always on sale on Udemy. It's ridiculous. Um uh, okay, so let uh wait. Um why am I returning this again? Do I need this return? If false, it just doesn't do anything. If true, it does all that. Uh, oh, if true... Uh, oh, no, I, I, I see what I need to do. Dead. Check. Not check. If we die, then we do that. If we don't die, we don't do it. There we go. You'll do sales on specific things and you're wishing, so you buy it. I mean, that's a, that's, yeah, that's a typical uh, marketing strategy. The privacy on us being a bunch of hoarders and buying just because it's cheap. I mean, yeah, but it's also one of those, right? If the product was a hundred bucks and it's 90% off and you pick it up for 10, either they're losing money or their margins are insane before sale. I have a feeling their margins are in sale, uh, uh, insane before sale. Because I don't think they're going to lose money on, on considering how many sales they have. I could be wrong. So let's give us last stand and let's test this. And now we can use this lovely thing. Right? There's lifesteal. There's last stand. And, and it's in the order that I added it. So if I reorder this, it'll, it'll come in different order. So last stand, let's pick it up. So. Go ahead and tell me. Welcome back. I guess the sleeping didn't go too well. Why are you doing 22.5 damage? Ah, it worked. Am I invulnerable? Hey, look at that. Easy peasy. And now it should kill me. Oh, wait, no, I was going to say, wait, no, it won't kill me. Uh, here, when I do this, uh, I also need to remove the, my gameplay tag. Remove gameplay tag. Uh, and we need to remove last end. There you go. Why are you doing 22.5 damage, though? I really don't like that. Please tell me I don't need to find something that's broken again. Okay, 30 is correct.
Yeah. You're doing that correct damage now. Okay, I'm invulnerable. Correct, and, I, and my health got set to 25%. And now if he kills me, I'm actually dead. Fantastic. Ooh, what happened here? A soul siphon again is giving me problems. Okay, let's do... Okay, I'm gonna do that is valid. This is working around the problem, but it's not... This is not a good solution. This is just... This is a bad solution. I repeat, this is a bad solution, but I'm doing it because everything is working correctly that I, that I want working correctly, so I'm not sure why it errors. Mm. I should be doing it. I should be fine. Oh, wait, uh, is this going to fix your, your damage problem? Was that what was causing your damage problem? You're fine right now. Real bizarre. money you for testing was such a brilliant idea i know whoever thought of that should really celebrate and just party get a large drink and maybe some cake as a celebratory thing because they deserve it i mean honestly it's just you like design of the funny spider guy <laughs> yeah leave it go back in like 15 no worries it's one big poop. Are you referring to <laughs> leaving for 15 minutes? You're assuming they're going to poop. <laughs> is, is that what it is? <laughs> also, hello, Rain. <laughs> Welcome back. You're I don't I drink dioxide, Sally, so no drinks for you. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know. You can try something else. I mean there there's alternatives. They're not as good, but you know, they're alternatives. Uh okay, so we did um uh, We're gonna just rename it to uh last stand. Oh, yeah, and uh, one thing we can test, actually, and I didn't really pay attention to, is uh, on this menu, right, we could just check. Um... Oh, look at that. It fits perfectly. One thing I need to do, though, is you see how this is, like, up top and there's this big gap? Some of them are too big to fit in one. I don't know how to align the text vertically. That's my only thing. If I can get it to align vertically, then that'd be perfect. But I don't know how to make it align vertically. And for this reason, I need to have it. I'll, I'll figure it out over time at some point. But 
for now, I don't have it. Yeah, it works. I learned what text, so, uh, yeah, and my UI. I have the title. Right, but the title is sometimes long. Right, and so it goes to both two lines. But when it's only one line, I just want it to be in the vertically centered in this box. That, 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 that's it. There, there, there's a just a horizontal justification, but it's not a vertical justification. So I don't know why, but stupid. Right, because right now there's a big gap, but I don't want a gap. Got another ver uh, vertical box in there? Or padding? But I need to be consistent, right? If I add a... Uh, like, this is working correct. I just want it when it's one. If I add padding, it's going to add padding to both. When it's one line or two. And I'm not even using a vertical box at all. I don't see why I need to for it. Fair the way it is, because the description box matches perfectly. Yeah, well, that, that's what I mean. Like, but if this was just a little bit lower when it's one word versus when it's multiple, that's all I would care about. I'll, f I'll find how to do it, right? If this is like t long title, right? If this is like this, right? This is great. This is perfect. It fits nicely. But when it's only one line, right? If that text was just, just a little bit lower, just right in the middle here, like between these two lines, I think it'd be, it'd be better. Eh, not a big deal. Um, I'll figure it out later. You need a vertical box to separate it, divide by three, gives you three spaces to take up. Yeah, but the text, but then wouldn't I need to then figure out, uh, like, how many words I have or how long they are and are they going to go into the next line or not do their length because right now I'm just piping in one text field and he just does second line if I have separate wait why vertical but what do you mean horizontal boxes does it go this way oh I guess inside the vertical box size to content Hold on here. Let's let's just wrap with vertical box. Okay. Autofill doesn't do anything here. That that doesn't move it down. So it's an. So you do length of word and only first section of words go into top slot and the following words but yeah th but they're not always gonna have like what if i have like four small words and they would just happen to all like or like three small words then they all fit in one line i don't want it to be just because it's a new word to go in the next line so yeah i'll need to figure out something for for this um It's fine. We'll figure it out. Hey, Sativa, welcome in. You're gonna lie in the center of the vertical box. How do you do that? How do you like a line in the center? I mean, the center line this way doesn't work. Phil? Ah, oh, Phil. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> that was the problem. I wasn't using fill when I tested this before. I always forget the difference between auto and fill. I'll be honest. It messes with me all the time. It always messes with me. So yeah, it is the vertical box that was needed. I just need to then change it to freaking fill. Like, see like when, when it says auto, I expect it to be automatic. So if I say center, it'll automatically be in the center. <laughs> so why is it when it's... 
I don't understand what auto is compared to... I don't get it. This, this stuff confuses me to, still to this day. But also, we did it. So now, if I hit compile and we check this, then they're in the center between those two. When they're, okay, perfect. Look at that. Oh. Dumb, dumb moment of the day. I mean, of the day. Come on. I have a dumb, dumb moment like every five minutes. Let's be honest. <laughs> I thought you said Sykes to Con was already on. I tried it before, but I wasn't, uh, I didn't do freaking fill. Which is why, like, when I was showing, like, I clicked the, right, I clicked the, I clicked the center line vertically, didn't do anything. And then I just happened to click fill. And, hey, look at that, it worked. Because, because auto doesn't. Even though auto is called automatic, so it should be automatically set to my settings. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. It works. Hey. We get a dum dum of the emo, uh, of the day emo going. If you have suggestions on emotes, I'll happily make them and stuff. I just don't know what emotes. Or what, like what, what they should be. A dunce hat? Mm. Yeah, a dunce hat. You know, I'm gonna make a note of that. It's gonna be uh, no bad. Uh, dunce hat emo, because that's brilliant. <laughs> Phil will fill all the space available, and Otto will try to top to bottom or left to right. But, but, why is it called auto then? <laughs> why is it called auto then? <laughs> why, okay, to be fair, Unreal has some really stupid naming for some stuff. Why is the word saturate clamping zero to one? Would never guess that in a million years, and you will never know that unless someone told you that, the, that in a material saturate is clamp zero to one. It's in a material section, so you think saturate means saturation of color, but no, that's clamping zero to one. <laughs> so I guess you know what, Phil is a, is a small thing and it's fine. Because he tried to fill the list giving the size of the content. Yeah. Explain the armor reducing part. <laughs> the damage is reduced based on the amount of armor I have. Well, Gagats, what is that to uh, understand there? The damage is reduced based on the amount of armor. So the armor is reducing the damage that I'm taking. Armor reduces the damage I take. Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh come here. So um this is done. Yay. Um okay, let's do face shift. Temporarily be able to move through enemies. Uh so, what's a good timeline on being able to move through enemies? Five seconds off, 10 seconds off? Uh, or is five seconds on, 10 seconds off? Five seconds on, 10 seconds off? I don't want them to be like too infrequent. Do we do 50-50? Five seconds on, five seconds off. Nope, oh, ads. Ads are here. Pausing for ads. Five seconds is a very long time, but I mean... It's not that long. I want it to be like something you, you like, like build defining. Um, 
Yeah, while, uh, while I think about this, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm back. Not sure about this one. Does it seem very useful? Players don't choose what activating. I feel like it could be if it happens often. Like every five seconds you have it, every five seconds you don't. Like five seconds on, five seconds off, five seconds on. You can time, you can like work around that. That is not like a, a big thing. Five seconds on, five seconds off. Five seconds on, five seconds off. And then, uh, like, you could position yourself where if you have, like, some kind of damage where you need to get into position or something, I think you can use that to your advantage. Like, it doesn't have to be super powerful. It doesn't have to be broken. But I think it could, uh... I think that could work. Let's try it. The one thing I don't know, though, is do I need an effect for it? I kind of do. Right? Because you need to know when you have it. Yeah, that's a good, uh, yeah, that's a great suggestion, Gugats. Yeah, I'll just change, uh, no. No, I can't just change the alpha because I do have a, uh, temporary invisibility thing. Um, and that's the one I'll be using the alpha change on. So when I become temporarily invisible, I'll be making myself more transparent show that so uh i'd love like an outline effect welcome back again jibberly <laughs> yeah, the character translucent well that's the same thing Or did, or did you just, no, I think you said translucent originally, and I read it as transparent. Just same thing, <laughs> I guess. Um, let's see about, you know what? Mm, what can I do? I have some effects I could possibly look through. I specifically created this project and downloaded like a bunch of the Paragon stuff and other stuff on here. We're gonna look through the effects we have. Outlay when invisible and translucent when not colliding. Outline would be very difficult to do. Outline would mean I have to create a new uh, like render for each thing. Because I don't think I can... 
I mean, is there a way in the material editor? No, I couldn't even select like a color range in the material editor, even, even if that was possible, because sometimes I have like a blade go over the edge and it changes the tint. No, we couldn't do it by color even. So it had to be like a manual thing. So I can't do just like a outline thing. I would have to then add that kind of functionality to absolutely everything. And that's just a lot of extra like stuff for that. But we do have a lot of effects here. Now, not all of them are good effects. And now I'm going to, they're not good at all. Uh, but you know, camera, slow down. You know, but uh, you know, we can see what they are. Translucent is partially see-through. Transparent is corporeal, but invisible. No, transparent is also partially see-through, right? right? When a glass is transparent, you see through it. It's partially see-through. If you have thick glass or like tinted glass, it's still transparent. Translucent uh, is like, um, I guess I'm thinking of like something like candle wax. Last stream, okay. Last. Yeah, yeah. Like my brain's not working right now. It's already late. <laughs> I've been doing this too long. Yeah, that's right. Glass is translucent. Either way, I'm using 2D image. I can make it have transparency, or I can. I don't have like thickness or anything. I can't do like actual translucency. It's not even an option. So I can only do transparency. It's a 2D image. So. Uh, oh, this is the one that I'm using for um, for my invulnerability. And then here's my stun one. Look at that. There's my stun one. What I'm trying to do? Um, just trying to figure out a good way of showing when I become um, able to walk through enemies. Oh, this portal effect, I think we're going to probably grab. Um, oh, apparent. Yeah, I'll probably grab one of these. Transparent means no color, like glass and water. Translucent means lights go through like paper. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like paper is translucent. Light goes through it. But glass has nothing, so it's transparent. But my brain isn't working right now at, at full cap capabilities, so I'll agree to everything. I'm going to rephrase that. I'm not going to agree to everything. I'm going to agree to things that probably are not 100% not on. Um, So let's see if there's like an interesting effect here uh, that we could just uh, trail effect. Uh, I doubt there's going to be anything great here for what I want. What I'm trying to do is just figure out a good way of showing that I'm going to be able to walk through enemies. That's it. I'm trying to see, like, do I have anything that's like a, a, a good way to uh, show that? Oh, that's uh, it's not exactly what I was thinking. Okay, that is. Oh, here it is. All 
I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think that's what we want, but that's pretty cool. Dear God, th these are just... There's glasses. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not I'm not adding them, obviously. <laughs> we can't put 3D glasses on on 2D sprites, but that's that's pretty cool. I, I just did rain like a, a few times. I think the fact that you, I, I repeated it a few times and you still haven't gone it means yeah. If you're not kidding about seven days of not sleeping, go to sleep. Jesus Christ, go to sleep. Maybe some blur finder distortion. The problem is there's no. There's no like blur. Can't sleep or sick. Is everyone sick? Uh, it's not good. Bring lots of tea. You want to? No, I'm just trying to figure out a good way of just showing that I I can walk through enemies. That's all I'm doing. That's it. I just want to show that I can walk through enemies. Um. Woo, that's cool. Uh, not definitely not what I want, but. I was thinking like maybe I can do with a particle effect from one of these, but I don't think we have anything good here. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Club Go Guts, me too. Not really, but sure. Which is the sprites to let people know you can walk through enemies. I don't know about changing the sprite. I'm trying to have some kind of visual indicator to show that you can walk through enemies. Yes, that's it. So we're trying to see what kind of uh, if maybe one of these uh, have uh, yeah. some kind of subtle effect maybe here. Also, how is it that this is the picture? This is the effect. I mean, maybe for that one brief moment, it looks like that, but man, most times does that not look like that. It might be one of those that we pass for now until we get an effect for. I think that's, uh, I'm gonna move it to the needs an effect. What I would like to do is have an outline. Can you do an outline and a texture dynamically? I don't think you can, right? Can you run a custom death pass that allows a colored outline? Do you need a custom death pass for the outline though? Uh, I don't know if you can do an outline for just a texture and not like a full 3D thing. Please translate well. No, no, these will all be 3D. All effects are going to be 3D. They're not going to be 2 and a half D. Where can you send link? What link are you trying to send? Or what are you trying to send? Uh... Texture outline effect. You do outline in materials is a problem, right? And a lot of them do them through just Fresnels and other tricks. Uh, but they don't do an outline on a texture. It'd be funny. I mean, yeah, do it. Make a little game. Why not?
But yeah, but uh, a lot of those guts uh, are materials, as in they don't. I need it to transform the texture, as in they need to like not work with any kind of geometry. I know those kind of materials, but they all need like geometry. So I think for now we're. I'm gonna put it on the pause list for this one. Um, because. Yeah, I think I need an effect for this one. For now, we'll put it on the pause list. What we can do, though, uh, is go to the next one. What else we got? So we're not doing phase shift. Uh, what we can do is do this one. Temporarily pull enemies to another dimension while entering a room. That could be fun. If they need geometry, they're better off doing the duplication effect. And the second one will be uh, emissive outline only. The problem, right, with that is, right, my characters, like, if this is, like, character this is my character right their pivot point is right here that's why i, I modified it immediately when i was like uh oh, let's just tweak that a little that pivot point is there for this image right so this image has its pivot point right there so if I scale it, it'll be like, right, it, it, it won't be like a, a, an outline. It'll be scaled like this way and this way, but it won't be scaled down. So it's not as easy as just, right, scaling it and putting it behind because the pivot point is not in the right place. I could like pull it up and move it one pixel down and like eyeball it theoretically we could try eyeballing it I mean, let's try eyeballing it You need just the texture coordinate of the second thing or move the pivot point? Yeah, let's, let's try. I'm going to just just see real quick. If I was to go to... Well, where's the viewport? Where's the viewport now? Oh, I'm on AC, but I thought I clicked here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so if I take you, uh, back, uh, I just, place it underneath you, reset, uh, Turn off the freaking snapping. Uh, one even. And I would need to scale it where it's like a single pixel. This is double, right? We don't want double. We want like a single pixel bigger. It's hard to. Like... Oh, we want two pixels bigger. Two 
pixel. So like 1.04. And then I want to move it so it's down a single pixel. Uh, and then we can go and just check this materials. Um, just uh, I don't need to do all of this. I, yeah, I don't need any of this. Um, I just need base color to be white. Oh, I also need the opacity. Uh, oops. Let's let, let's keep that source texture. Uh, don't need you. <laughs> uh, here, I just need this to be white. That we still need. Uh. White uh, fill. I know. Character color fill. Um. Is it gonna work? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't need this one. Excuse me? I wasn't even using you. You don't want to do a custom run you can uh, duplicate the sprite rescale the second one make it slightly bigger and change them as yeah that's basically what i'm doing <laughs> we had a little atari asteroids clone once nice if they only need geometry then you're better oh yeah i read that one You have to adjust the texture corner of the second thing or move the pivot point unless you uh, pivot there. What's this game about? Uh, it's about uh, progressing through a dungeon, getting power ups and having fun. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much the sum of it. Um. Uh, this won't work. Uh, this won't work because I have so many things tied to this, right? This sprite isn't going to update automatically to whatever I'm doing. This won't work because this doesn't update automatically to what I'm doing. No, I'm saying no, this is not going to work. Uh, yeah. I would need to, like, go through absolutely everything and, like, customize it to, like, also update another sprite, which is not default meant to. And that's, that's going to be a bigger headache than adding just a, an effect. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not... No, <laughs> I just realized I'm not. No, not doing that. Uh. -uh. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen the game, for anyone that hasn't seen it, you know, I'll, I'll load up a, a little bit of the... Of the dungeon area. It's kind of, um, Dead Cells, uh, Binding of Isaac, um, some, some, some other games. Uh, right. oh, jerk. Nope. I will use my block. Ah! Yeah, door's open. But I'm gonna kill this guy. I like when he's blood but Oh, is it not open? I thought it opened. Oh, just printing the, the damage. You jerk. Ah. Now it's open. Oh, you. Stop it. Oh, you. Okay. Uh I'm getting out of here. Thanks. I killed you enough. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to add the um Oh yes, airblade. I need to add Why is it only going so far here? Oh this is odd. Why is it... Oh I need to check the collisions. Maybe the collisions are like super the hell happened there? Any the collisions are super weird there? It should be going further. That's odd. That is odd. But yeah, I need to, uh... Yeah, it's gonna have like Binding of Isaac kind of power-ups, which is what we've been working on. Um, and different weapons, and different levels, different bosses, things of that nature. I don't know why... So this is supposed to... Oh, you know what it is? I think it's... Is it the blood? Oh, why is it going this way, but not this way? I think it's the blood. The blood? I think I need to... Uh, fix... No, the blood doesn't have collision. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah, what's happening without the blood? I was. Yeah, like here it's happening without the blood. Oh. Timber and vulnerability. Aha! So I need to figure out why it is. It is doing a trace. Uh, maybe it's hitting the ground? Oh, you know what it is? Um, I think I have it based on my vector, like my, uh, my character's vector, and maybe he's looking down at that moment. And so it's angling and it's angling it into the ground. So I think I need to just adjust that. Uh, oh, is the entrance only upstairs? I love the splatter of blood everywhere. Look, it's colliding with me. It shouldn't be colliding with me, right? Because otherwise it would always collide with me, but it doesn't always collide with me. So I think it's because of the angle. We can test that. Uh, uh, let's test that. Let's, That's uh, not here. Oh, Pausing ads. for ads. Ads time. Ads time. While I quickly uh, check this. Um, 
The trace is based off the rotation. No, it's based off the... Oh, get character rotation. Uh, I only care about Z. Why didn't have it before? Uh, before I didn't have it checking for walls to stop at walls. I think I just didn't do, just have this at zero zero. I think that's all it was. I know ads are going. I just I'll just quickly load it up. Um, debug screen, yay! Airblade. And I'm gonna give myself greater multiple projectiles. Yeah, so see, it's it stops at the walls. <laughs> we'll see if it's uh, if it's down. Yeah, it looks perfect now, but it looked perfect before too. So let's um, let's run it a little, and double check. Oh no, that was hitting the wall. Uh, no, it's... No, it's like there's a... No, no, that wasn't it. Let's see. Mm, let's do a... Uh, for duration here. It's checking world static, which is correct. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's going on. You know, the couch where it's colder and it's still profusely sweating? I don't know. Get some, um, medication. Like, to probably bring down the fever, I'm guessing. Okay, let's try that. So, yeah, this is all detecting it correctly. Maybe I should reduce the ink. Maybe the problem is the... Uh... Oh, you see how it's... It detected it earlier. Why is it all of a sudden detecting it like where I am? And I think... Let's just try reducing that radius. Cause I don't need it to be that big. Let's do like 25. Was that the problem? Was it just uh, it was colliding with the ground? No, I <laughs> look at the bodies down below. <laughs> I love the down bodies down below. <laughs> okay, that seems better. Yeah, that seems like it's all accurate now. And now with lifesteal, I'm just unkillable. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm already at 91 health. Just, just regen everything. Yeah, this, you're not killing me at this point. It's awesome. Yeah, that, that, that seems like it fixed it. So it was just colliding with the ground. Uh, Simple fix. I am going to need to introduce some kind of some. I want to introduce more projectile stuff, uh, cone projectile stuff for melee that isn't like this. Um, I'm at full health now. <laughs> but yeah, so cool. Oh god, we can pick it up again. Oh no, no, it's not going to give me anything because it, it doesn't like. 
<laughs> it's not programmed to stack with itself. It just checks that I, I have it or not. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can stop uh, debugging this. We're good. Say, so if you have a colliding later, yeah. I don't know why it's colliding with the ground. Like sometimes, but not other times. That's odd. But I guess, I don't know how the collision is for those pieces. It should be, it's a cube. It should be just perfectly flat, but maybe it's somehow not perfectly flat. So that's why, depending on the area, it's going to be a little, a little jank in some places. That's fine. That's fine. Um, Okay. But let's now move on to actually doing the next ability. So, yeah, we're not doing phase shift. Um, I could make it so temporary invisibility is going to be a little uh, complex. Um, let's do stat boosts. Let's do some simple ones. It's getting late. We'll do, we'll do some stat boosts. So, um, what kind of stat boosts are we gonna want? We already have HP. We're gonna want damage. We have armor already set up. What the hell are we gonna want? He says damage. Hold on, is there even any stats to even make? What kind of stats? I, I think I have everything kind of set up already. I don't want to adjust movement speed. I do. I do want to adjust movement speed. Yeah. So damage, movement speed. Attack speed, yeah, I'm not doing attack speed. Yeah, attack, uh, att the attack speed is very, very broken already. I might change that, um, that, uh, the air blade attack to have a chance of spawning on attack instead of guaranteeing. So, yeah. So that way it's not a... Or like do like every third hit or you know whatever we'll see um damage and movement speed i mean it's fine just basic uh stat ones i feel like uh, i think movement speed is good to add i don't know if i want to add damage because we already have like lots of ways of getting damage that's more interesting than just here's a stat. Movement speed, I think I should put as a thing. So let's do movement speed. Uh I don't have accuracy even as a thing. Like, I can't... There's no chance to miss. And so, yeah, I don't have a, a accuracy. Because I don't... Th I feel like missing isn't fun. Damage buff is just typical with these kind of... Uh... Yeah, yeah, so that's what... I'll, I'll add a damage buff, like a general one. Because we have, like, ways of getting damage. Like, Berserker, we have... Surround. We have different ways of getting damage, but this is just gonna be a flat damage increase. So let's do uh, let's do the speed one first. Even with no chance to miss, there can be a chance to crit hit. Uh, I do have a, a crit chance up. One. Yep. We have a crit chance up. We have a knockback. We have armor. We have health already uh, set up. Do you have different weapons yet? Or uh, so right now it's only the melee weapon. Uh. So yeah, the plan is to have um, 
Right now I have the sword, which has the knockup ability. I'm gonna add, I want to add a boomerang potentially, which is a projectile that flies out and then returns. Uh, and I want like a maybe like a regular projectile um, that like maybe homes on enemies. And maybe like the the staff will be much weaker than the others, but it has the benefit of the homing. And the boomerang maybe has some like other mechanics. Right? And if you have suggestions for weapons, like, and what kind of, like, what makes them, like, more unique and special, let me know. Just keeping in mind that there is no, um, there is no mouse to aim. So you can't do, like, something like a bow. Where you, uh, like, move with one and use your, like, an aim and then fire, right? There is no, nothing like that. It is directional based. The boomerang should be a banana for the funnies. <laughs> if I add skins for stuff, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but let's go with um, uh, speed boost. Uh, speed boost. That's just going to be what the name is. Um, increase uh, movement speed. Um... I don't want to specify movement speed because that might include like dashing is also movement. So I'm going to say running speed by 20%. Something just simple. Um, Boost. Come. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be passive, and let's make it. Oh man, this is a, such a difficult image to make. Whew, that was hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, where's my speed boost? Bam! All in. Okay. So now we need to, uh, set that up. So if I come here, and let's go to, um, uh, character stats. I believe. Did I put you all in a category? Or oh, this probably got reverted or crash at some point. XP. There we go. I mean, I, oh, I probably put him in here, but I, uh, I need also to you uh, AC abilities. Um, so I have the combined stats, um, and we are doing, we need to get the, uh, 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 uh. I see a new function here. Just increase movement speed. Yeah, good. That's well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful night. Take care. Um, I'm just gonna call it uh, increase uh, movement speed. But even if directional base, enemies can dodge our something. Something is it, is the worst supposed to be boomerang somehow. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, 
Um, character reference. Uh, get a uh, movement component. Why is it not selecting that? Uh, and then set. Uh, I actually, what I need to do here? Set. I think you said walking speed. Uh, set uh, max speed. Max walk speed. That's. The This it set max Oh, what is wait character movement versus movement component are different? Okay. That's why I was confused why it looks this way. Because it was different. This idea. What if some of the weapons had different variants? For example, banana could be a variant of the boomerang and go further and, f and faster and do <laughs> but do less damage. I mean, I like the idea. It's definitely a. If I have time later, once all other mechanics are done, by, you know, addition. But, you know, I like the idea. So we're just going to set the walk speed to be its current walk speed times 1.2. Increase speed. speed. <laughs> I definitely like the idea. I, I, like, the more... Like customization and variation like that, there is, I think, the better. So we need to just get here a speed boost and is it one speed boost? I can take, uh, I see abilities, uh, speed, uh, increased movement speed. Actually, do, I don't need this. I don't need this. It's realized. Yet, uh, Character ref. I already had this stored. There you go. Okay. So when I get the speed boost, I should be able to run faster. So let's test this. So here's our movement speed right now. And if I give myself speed boost. Yeah, that's uh, I feel definitely faster. Okay, the, the dash is still the dash. But the movement speed feels a little better. Yeah, 20% boost on movement. OK, I like it. Um, Let's do uh let's do the damage one now. So let's come here. Uh we'll do one more. Damage boost. Not boosty. Dash damage boost. Uh
uh, increase uh, damage by... Have I ever played Parappa the Rapper? No, but I've heard of it. And when I say I've heard of it, I mean the name. And some people saying good things about it, but I've... Aside from that, I've never... I don't even know what the game type is. I think I've seen, like, a picture of it or something at one point or another, but that's pretty much, like, the limitations of my knowledge of it. <laughs> Knowing that it's good, people have said good things about it. That's it. Let's increase damage by 10%. Uh... Also, Jibberly, I would not put your age in uh, in chats just as a safety precaution. Right? Like, you're, you're fine. Like, right? Most, most sites are 13 plus. But. <laughs> it's, it's better not to, in general. <laughs> as, as To not tell people your age. Uh, I'm, my, I'm in my 30s. <laughs> but that doesn't, you know. Yeah. I'm in my 30s. I'm old. Uh, let's go add a new thing here. Damage boost. Passive. And oh, let's make a new icon. And boost. I, I use it with alt, so that's why I asked. You know why you have wild obsessions and phases with really old games, like three months straight? You didn't do anything besides played <laughs> Rapper the Rapper 2. <laughs> I mean, hey. You know, that <laughs> as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. There is I never played Parappa. You could sing. Well, see, I'm not much for music. Like, I don't listen to music. So, musical games, I don't really care about because I just don't listen to music. Like, be, like, the most music I'll ever watch is, like, background stream music. I, I, 0%, literally 0% of the time, will put on music, like, in any scenario. <laughs> I know it's a rhythm game, right? But I don't play rhythm games because I don't care about the music. And the last the last one I played was Guitar Hero 3. That was the only one I ever played. And that was like in college over a decade ago. This music is silly kid stuff made up. But yeah, I heard good things about it. Still, yeah, I never played it. I probably would suck at it because, I mean, it's a... It's a <laughs> it's a rhythm game, and I have like no sense for music at all. Um, okay. I'm realizing right now that I'm making it all multiply by itself so if i have one and then another and another it all stacks multiplicatively and i might not want to do that 
in the end, but uh, for now, uh, we'll, we'll do. We'll continue. Just, just as a realization. And this is for damage boost. Right, because if you have like Berserk active at that moment with this and like the surrounded check, like the damage adds up quick, which isn't bad. Like if you're going through them super quick, that's fine. It just needs to be balanced for it. That's the main thing. So, yeah, so let's do this, and this should be uh, all I need to do. So if we go here and just check damage boost. Yeah, 27.5. There we go. And default is 25. There, there we go. Beautiful. I suggest uh, possibly seeing a doctor, but again, I I wouldn't know. <laughs> but I would get uh, yeah medical consultation if you're feeling real bad. Other than Guitar Hero, the the chords the song don't sync up. You just turn good wholesome fun. <laughs> Wait, they don't sync up. That sounds terrible. But I mean, as long as it's fun, I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> you and your friends are the only ones that know um, rapper is. Is that is he the guy with like the the beanie? Is am I thinking of the right game? Is the main character or, or or one of the characters has a beanie on? Am I thinking of the right thing? I'm gonna look it up. Uh, Rappa the Rapper? Yeah, but I am thinking of the right one. He has a beanie on. Yeah, so like I said, like I, I, I know of the game. Oh, just yeah. No, wait, wait. Oh, is that what that is? It's very small, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> but good to know. Okay, so we now have... Do I keep closing the freaking abilities thing? No, it's right there. It's on the left. Um, so we set up three abilities. I've fixed some stuff so far. But... Unlucky. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So we added the uh, damage and the movement speed. So I'll say stat boost is good. Because again, we already have armor, we have um, knockback, we have crit chance. Um, I probably should do crit damage. Right now it's hard coded. But for, for now I won't do it. But uh, I'll, I'll make a note of uh, crit damage specifically for myself. Uh, rework. Or, uh, non uh, standard. Um, so if I look at uh, our our list, right? Oh, so let me just mark off stats. So if I look at our list, one thing I want to do tomorrow is this one here cleave. So right now, Ads are we here. have ads. Pausing for ads. So right now we have ads, and so we're gonna wait for ads. Damn it! <laughs> I was looking at the at the ad timer because I was looking at the the spreadsheet. Uh. 
You know, may maybe another emo would be good, like a mystery liquid. Like today I'm drinking liquid nitrogen, so. And you can't prove me wrong. Can't see inside the bottle. <laughs> you know, mystery liquid <laughs> emote as well. Uh, uh, yeah, mystery liquid. I'm actually curious. I'll, I'll ask this after after the ads. This is, I, I'll try to find the answer to this. Uh, Okay, I'm trying to see. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, ads are almost done. Okay, ads are done. So I'm curious, and I'm trying to find info on this. Can you make emotes uh, with AI on Twitch and YouTube? Is there policies against it? Like, do they have a no AI policy? I'm just curious. Because I, I can't see any policies on it. Because I was just like thinking like, okay, well, I'm going to find someone to make it. And it seems like people... Uh, Find someone to make what? Oh, no, no. I was just like thinking like I want to make um, a couple of emotes, like a dunce hat emote, mystery bottle emote. And then I was like, can I use AI to make them? <laughs> and I was like, wait, what is the policy in AI? I don't know what the policy is on Twitch and YouTube for AI emotes. I have a emote person that I use in the past. I don't know if they still do work. But I just realized I don't actually know what the policy is on, on Twitch and YouTube on that stuff. So. I know YouTube videos, like you have to disclose like when things you have. You can use AI to make them, yes? Okay. Okay, well that's an option. Um good to know. Good to know. Uh oh but the pro uh, freaking YouTube. So the only way for me to get emails to you guys on YouTube is through memberships, isn't it? Because I can't make... There's no free emotes stuff on YouTube, right? Uh, YouTube uh, free live emotes? Yeah, I think it's all memberships. I can make them behind the BTTV emote. Because I have BTTV uh, em uh, set up, but then you have to make sure that you have to set up BTTV and then all that. So I could put it behind like like the dollar, two dollar like tier. Like behind the 99 cent tier effectively on YouTube. And then you can just, you can get them. Um, or I'll figure out something else that you get for it. Because... Yeah, because it, it, it's going to be, uh, I think you have, there's some free slots on Twitch that you can put them in and there's the tier slots. So maybe I'll do the same thing on, I'll put them both in $5 tier if I add them. That way it's fair. 
They don't want to have like a shittier experience on one platform than another. So we'll see. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Yep. Um, okay. But... But I think I'm gonna call it here for the night. Tomorrow we will, uh, yeah, we'll tackle the cleave because I want to make it so default is single attack. And then when I enable this, then I do the multi attack because right now it's way too powerful where I just hit everyone in one go. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's too powerful. So we need to have, uh, I'm gonna need to do that. And then, um, I think we, I have a, one of the particle system. I think it can do one of the other stuff like aura, maybe I'll see. We might do some more effects or we might, uh, move on to something else for a bit. Uh, we will see. Um, yeah, figure it out. Come back to it tomorrow, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I do hope you enjoyed it. We're at 21 power-ups. That's not bad. Honestly, that's not bad. A lot of progress today. To be fair, a lot of it was off stream before. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow at uh, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm going to get some rest because I am tired as well. I've been up since, well, earlier than I usually am today. <laughs> I don't know why. So... Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>